How you doing guys? I'm Matt Walden. Today we're here with Mishimoto in the Mishimoto Laboratories. And today we have the pinnacle, the icon of today's tuner market, the Nissan 350Z. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit. This is better than anything else on the market. It bolts directly on the front end of your car and it's going to help keep those oil temps down on and off the track. Tools required for the 350Z Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit are 27 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, 10 millimeter wrench, zip ties, cutters for the zip ties, a panel tool, flathead screwdriver, five millimeter Allen key, extra oil, Teflon tape, and lineman's pliers. Installation time is about two hours and a four out of five on a scale of difficulty. Before starting any work on your 350Z, make sure to support the car securely on jack stands. We're gonna get started underneath of the car first. First step is to remove the lower splash shields. And you might wanna take note, this guy has some aftermarket splash shields on, so yours may differ just a little bit. To remove the bumper on the 350Z, you want to remove the six pop push pins across the front end. After you've got those removed, reach up way inside of the wheel well and grab the two right in the corner up here. After all these are off, the bumper should pull off without a problem. If you're a 350Z owner, you absolutely need to consider an oil cooler kit for your car. These things literally cook the oil. Nishimoto has come out with a solution for this car. Not only looks good, but bolts right on too with the direct fit oil cooler bracket. Check it out, I'll show you guys how this is installed. Locate the two bottom holes that line up with the direct fit oil cooler bracket on the left side of the car on the front rad support. Install two nuts and two bolts through the rad support to hold the direct fit oil cooler kit bracket in place. Next, install the oil cooler core onto the direct fit oil cooler bracket. Secure the oil cooler core with the supplied hardware. The longer oil cooler line goes to the outside edge of the car. The shorter one goes towards the center line of the car. Put the 90 degree fittings on the oil cooler and the straight fittings going to the engine oil filter block. Leave these two fittings out on the oil cooler loose until everything is complete. Go ahead and feed the oil cooler lines through the plastic paneling around the front and through the access hole right towards the sway bar in the back. The oil line should end up right near the oil filter. All right, next remove the oil filter. Make sure you have a drain pan ready because some residual oil will come out of it. Now, if you've been following along word for word, tool for tool, part for part, these are the things that you should have left. The oil sandwich plate from Mishimoto comes with two tapped holes in case you're running any kind of sensors for temperature and or pressure. 
If you're not running any sensors though, we would recommend that you Teflon tape the plugs that come with the kit and install them. Make sure you're liberal with the Teflon here. Once those are installed, we're going to install the banjo fittings. The banjo fittings are going to face away from the rubber oil seal. And just make sure that you have the gaskets on either sides of these. The crafty hands at Mishimoto have pre-assembled these from the factory. But if yours gets disrupted in shipping, this is how they go together. Bolt, seal, banjo, and then another seal. This is the oil filter block and adapter plate that comes with the direct fit oil cooler kit for the 350Z, as well as the fittings for the associated block to go to the lines. But we're actually gonna one up this guy and give him the Mishimoto thermostatic sandwich plate because making sure your oil is up to temperature before it goes through the cooler is just as important as keeping it cool, especially for a street driven vehicle. Follow along, let's check it out. Making sure these lines are tied up and out of the way is critical. You do not want these ever touching the ground or hitting anything underneath of the vehicle. Once all the lines are routed in their proper configuration, go ahead and tighten up all the fittings. Again, once again, making sure that none of the lines have any kinks or hard bends in them. And last but not least, the oil filter nut that holds the whole block in place. Once the oil filter block is attached to the OE oil filter housing, go ahead and screw the oil filter down nice and tight onto the block itself. After this, double check your oil level and start the car up. Before you put the front bumper on, go ahead and start up the vehicle. Make sure there are absolutely no leaks in the oil cooler kit. Any leaks in the oil cooler kit can spell big trouble for your motor. And that goes along with the maintenance of an oil cooler kit as well. Oil cooler kits must be maintained and must be checked regularly for leaks and or any problems. Next, after everything's wrapped up underneath, with the exception of the splash guards, reinstall the front bumper. Almost like it belonged in there, huh?
Reinstall all the pop clips along the front end of the vehicle. That concludes the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler install. Enjoy your Mishimoto products.